If you've learned how to knit and you've learned how to purl, now you're able to do a rib. I'm going to show you a two by two rib, which is knit to purl to. Um, this is great for the edge of a hat or the, uh, the cuff of mittens or basically anything. You could make a headband with ribbing if you want. So you go in, you, you make two knit stitches, one, two. Now make sure, remember when you purl, you always have your yarn in front. So you bring your yarn in front and you purl two. And you bring it back, you knit two. And then you bring it forward and you purl two. It's fairly simple. Um, so I'm going to show you how it works with English style. style which is maybe a little more movement on the part of your right hand. So knit two, one, two. Then you move it to the front and you purl two. Oh, and I'll show you what happens. If you forget to move it to the back, this is what happens. So I go ahead and I knit two. And then I look back and oh no, I have a big hole. All right, so that is sort of the reason why you always move your yarn to the back because a knit stitch is essentially at the back and so your yarn will automatically go to the back, but it'll go to the back over the needle. And you don't want to have any unnecessary holes. And if you're starting to knit and purl, you're going to find those all the time. But you know, there's something you can just work your way back and fix. All right, so that was the first row of ribbing. I'm going to do a time lapse now so uh, you can see sort of how it looks a few rows later. Here is a few rows of ribbing. So you can see that every two stitches you have a column of knit stitches and every two stitches you have a column of purl stitches and soon you'll be able to read your knitting so when you see something that looks like a V you say oh that's a knit stitch and you see something that looks like a little bump you say oh that's a purl stitch so I need to bring my yarn to the front okay <laughs>